It's called the F-22 Raptor. The F-22 was designed to be the ultimate fighter. The F-22 has evolved in response to changing times. Of, it's, it's actually been renamed the F-A-22, and it's being given a ground attack capability so that it will be more versatile, that it won't be just dedicated to air defense, and also will have an attack and offensive capability. This is not an airplane like previous fighters, that in order to get to supersonic speeds, has to go into afterburner and stay into afterburner in the supersonic region. This aircraft has the ability to fly at basically military power and cruise supersonically. Many engineers see the F-22, with its complicated stealth technology and bomber requirements, as a return to the bad old days of US fighter design. When you design an airplane whose mission is to carry advanced technologies, it's not going to do anything well. If you're flying supersonically, you can't hide your, your infrared signature at all. You're just a beacon in the sky. Well, the Russians make very good infrared detection equipment. Some engineers say that infrared missile technology is so advanced, it can detect stealth aircraft and kill anything that moves in the skies. Trust me. The current generation of infrared missiles are, are you know, they have a guaranteed um, kill envelope that's, that's pretty astounding. Today, aviation engineers see current technology as just a jumping off point in the quest to design secret fighter planes. With the brain power and will on both sides of the world, the race to create the fastest, most lethal aircraft in the skies is far from over. I could count the outstanding fighters of the West since World War II on the fingers of one hand. And the reason is because there's so few times that anybody tries to build a fighter to do an outstanding job at a single task.